Hello and welcome to the Season 1 Week 3 BOP Tier List video. This week's data was captured Thursday morning CST using the iRacing Reports Discord, link below. Alright, starting off we're taking a look at the Touring Car Challenge, and this week it goes to Imola. So this week I'll be adding in a graphic to depict that one second pace window I always refer to as my basic benchmark to help determine these rankings. The little highlighted white portion is equivalent to one second. All right, so we're looking at the fixed series. It looks like this week we have a return to the Hyundai Cup as the RS3 and Civic lag quite a bit behind outside the one second window in average lap time. Thus I have the RS3 and C and the Civic and a C plus. That leaves the Veloster and Elantra at near identical pace going S tier. And so here's your touring car challenge fixed tier list for this week at Imola. For the open series, the setup differences separate the field drastically as the RS3 goes down to D minus and the Civic D, both well over two seconds off pace. The Veloster goes to C, which is over a second off the Elantra, which is blown out the field going S plus. I think this might be the worst I've seen the BOP be off in this series. Here's our touring car challenge open setup tier list for this week at Imola. All right, next we move on to the GT4 series, which this week is at Oschersleben. In contrast to what we just saw, here the BOP is looking good with the fixed setups as all but one car are in that one second pace window. That one car outside looking in is the Porsche, and that's gonna go C tier. I then had the McLaren in B, the BMW B+, Aston Martin A, the Mac Daddy Merc going S tier. And here's your GT4 challenge fixed tier list for this week at Oschersleben. All right, then moving on to the open series, the McLaren is showing it can have decent pace in the right hands, but ultimately based on its median value, it falls outside that one second window and thus goes C tier. Porsche improves a bit, the setup adjustments going B tier. The BMW here as well, looking a bit more consistent, potentially given its tighter, smaller box plot. And finally, I have the Aston Martin moving up to S tier with the Merc, as the Aston Martin seems to be more on pace with the Mercedes with proper setup adjustments. And so here's your GT4 Challenge open setup tier list for this week at Oschersleben. Just a quick note, if you're enjoying this BOP video, drop the hammer on that like and sub button if you haven't already. And if you'd like to show a little more support for the work I put into these types of videos, there's also that super thanks and join buttons below. And all right, moving on to what most people are probably here for, the GT3 Challenge Fix series goes to what will probably be the highest participation we see all season, the ever popular spa. Getting probably even more of a boost in participation due to people being home for the holidays. So much so that even the Ford has enough users this week to make the cut. Again, we have some similar cars near the top, but more and much closer on pace than what we saw last week at Brands Hatch. But still in towards the back of the pack at almost two seconds off its medium pace from the fastest car this week is the Porsche going D minus tier. With the Ford not quite as bad, but still going off pace, going a D plus. One other car also falls outside the one second pace window, but not nearly as bad is the Mercedes, which seems to continue to struggle a bit outside the hands of that 50 to 25 plus percentile of users. And just barely making the one second window cut, I got the BMW going C. From this point, the remaining four cars are very similar in median pace with the Ferrari in an A minus, the Audi and Lambo in A, and McLaren getting an A plus here this week. Although be cautious with it as it has a pretty large and skewed box plot and a discrepancy in median versus average, which might be explained from its difficult to drive nature as it is usually typically known for. Regardless, here's your GT3 challenge fixed tier list for this week at Spa. All right, now let's see how the BOPs pan out in the GT3s in that 40 minute open setup VRS sprint race. Here we see the car separate with open setup adjustments. The Porsche still bad, gets even worse at over three seconds off pace now and it's gonna stay in a D minus. The McLaren falls off a cliff and goes with the Mercedes in a D plus. C for the BMW and Ford, both of which are still outside a one second pace window, however. Then at an A minus, I have the Audi with a Ferrari at an A, leaving this week's top car with proper open setup adjustments being the Lamborghini all on its own, taking S tier. And so here's your VRS GT3 Sprint tier list for this week at Spa.
And next we had the multi-class open setup IMSA Haggerty series, which also goes to one of the high participation tracks this week, Watkins Glen. Although I feel Watkins Glen is similar in ways to Spa, as both have a mix of high speed turns and long straights, we do get some different results than what we saw just in the VRS sprint data. The biggest loser at the Glen is the Mercedes, which has its medium pace at over two seconds slower than our fastest vehicle going D minus tier. The next three cars are still outside our one second window, two of which going C tier. The Porsche showing a bit better here than it did at Spa is joined by the Ferrari, which falls pretty hard from an A tier rank we just saw it have at Spa to a C tier here. Then in B, I have the BMW just on the borderline hanging on the edge of that windowsill. That takes us to our top two performers this week, the Audi going A tier, with the Lamborghini doing just as good at the Glen as it did at Spa going S tier. And so here's your IMSA Haggerty Series GT3 tier list for Watkins Glen this week. And just a quick note, looking back at it, the only explanation I can see for the Ferrari's drop off at such a similar track is the straights of Spa being a bit longer using the Ferrari straight line speed advantage we saw it have at Monza. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the GT3 BOP so far at these various tracks. Last but not least, I'll quickly hit the European Sprint Series, which goes to Monza. In D, I have the BMW, C, the Corvette, B minus the RSR, A, the Ford, and the S tier to that Ferrari. So here's your European Sprint GTE tier list for this week at Monza. So there you have it, folks. Please go check out one of my other most recent videos up in the right hand corner. And I do stream some of my longer official races in league racing here and other various games outside of racing over on my other YouTube channel. Links below for that, as well as my other socials. And until next time, safe driving.